Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I have another PR haul. I feel like these videos get such mixed reviews because some of you guys love them and some of you guys don't. So I don't, I'm so kind of torn. I'm like, should I keep doing them? But a lot of you guys like seeing them. The downside to PR hauls is this is an unboxing. So I haven't tried most of these products. They're new. So there's not a lot of value to them when it comes to reviewing products, letting you guys know how they work, recommending products. So it, it has no value when it comes to that. But it's kind of more of an entertainment value, at least for me when I watch these. I'm just more entertained to see what's new out there. Um, I just like watching them. I don't know. So if you get it and that's why you're watching this, I think that's why some of you guys like them. I think some of you guys just don't because, like I said, there's not any value when it comes to reviewing things because I'm not reviewing them unless I just happen to have tried them. So let me know if you enjoyed this by giving it a thumbs up so I know. I don't have to keep making these, but a lot of you guys are loving them and that's why I'm continuing. So... They are fun to film, I have to admit. It's like just opening a bunch of stuff with some girlfriends. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first package is from L'Oreal. Um, I tried to cut everything open at least so I don't have to do a lot of cutting on here. It ends up taking a lot of time. Um, if I can get this out. Okay, so it is a black... Okay. Okay. It has a little J up there. That's so cute. So this is their voluminous foundation oh boy i filmed a lot of videos today this is their voluminous mascara and i love this stuff i haven't tried it in years but it was like my favorite for the longest time then i have tried their voluminous primer and it's pretty good i've not tried their blue but looks like they genuinely like dipped these suckers in glitter and then they put a j on there for jessica or jam beauty whatever that's awesome so i am so excited of course the presentation is ridiculous and i love it but I'm actually, I actually am excited to have this again because I forgot how much I loved that. Okay, so the next one, I don't know who it's from. Oh, Elf. I think I have a couple from Elf. This is a festival season one. So, looks like, is this a T? Huh, it's got like a little T-shirt. Oh, it's like all distressed. So it's got like the back kind of cut out and tied and it says desert chill. Fun. What else? Looks like they're, okay, so this is the end of this. So it's a bag. It's got a little dream catcher on it and a little black bandana. It's fun. It's a little backpack. Oh, I was wondering about this. This is their new line of stuff. It's the Elf Beauty Shield. The packaging, of course, is so cool. <laughs> There's a glow stick. That's fun. Um, so this is their SPF 50 Skin Shielding Moisturizer. And then they also sent their vitamin C pollution prevention serum. So that might, this serum might be nice to try out like during like a daytime serum. Yeah, it's lightweight and hydrating. Oh shoot, okay, oh wow. It's like heavy glass packaging. Classy elf, and it's like got that kind of, not holographic, but kind of that rainbow, is that what that, uh, anyway. Um, so that is really nice. Let's see the packaging on this. Elf is constantly stepping up their game. It constantly amazes me. This feels really nice too. Um, so it is their, oh, this is their moisturizer. These are nice. Um, so there's more to this line. They also have their Beauty Shield Dual Defense Cleansing Face Brush and then their Daily Defense Makeup Mist. What else? I'm so excited. Oh, their Massage Overnight Recovery Cream. So it looks like there's little roller balls, like metal ones. Oh, they got some little like rhinestone body art. Oh, there's more glow sticks. Fun. I'll give these to my nieces and nephews. They will love it. Anyway, so that was really cool. Cute, of course, Elf. They're just so cute. But um, I'm, to be honest, out of all of these, I'm really excited about the moisturizer and the serum. Elf has some cool skincare brushes. I haven't tried this one, but like they have a mask applicator. And it's great because if you've got like a jar of a mask, for example, today I was talking about the Glossier ones. Well, you're dipping your hands in there and wiping it all over your face, but they have an applicator where you dip it in there. It's kind of rubbery and you can put it all over your face that way. And that's awesome because then you're not dipping your fingers in it over and over again. Next, ooh, it's from Hourglass. So they've got this really nice like brown box. These are good drawer organizing boxes. Oh my gosh. I just saw a picture of what it is and I'm like freaking out right now. Okay, so. It's their ambient, oh my gosh, their ambient strobe lighting blushes. And their ambient lighting bronzers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So these things are freaking pricey, but they're amazing. And so I've got 
like their ambient lighting powders. I put them all over my face. They make my face look so glowy and nice. And I love their blush as well. So I'm excited. So the difference is these are their strobe lighting blushes. It says it combines the illuminating effects of ambient strobe lighting powders um, with breathtakingly modern hues to instantly brighten cheeks for seamless glowing and lit from within. That's the thing about their products. They always make you look like you're lit from within. And I think that's why I love them. So this one is in the shade, oh my gosh, Iridescent Flash. Next one's in Brilliant Nude, and this one's even more, it's like very peachy. It does have some glitter in it, which a lot of their strobe lighting products do have like glitter in it. The next one is Euphoric Fusion. And this one has a much more berry tone, but again, it does have that glitter in it. So it, it really depends on if you like glitter on your cheeks like that or not. I know some people love it, some people hate it. I'm somewhere in the middle, it really just depends. Like once you put it on, does it look good or not? Because some of them do not look good. So they also sent their ambient lighting blush in Incandescent Electra. Now this one is not a strobe lighting blush, at least it doesn't say that. So this must be maybe a new shade, wow. So let me wipe these off, let's do their bronzers. So this first one's in Luminous Bronze Light, and it's a really, definitely a more orangey toned bronzer. Again, these have that kind of glowy feel to them. This is not glittery, these are not glittery ones. But they're just glowy, and they make you look so, your skin look so healthy. So the next one's Nude Bronze Light. This one is much lighter than that last one. So if you've got a really fair skin tone, this would look beautiful. The next one's in Radiant Bronze Light. Again, it's, it's a lot orangier, but it definitely has a little bit more shimmer to this one. And the last one is Diffused Bronze Light. This might be my favorite one. It's almost a rosy toned, I don't want to say rosy, but it is a different tone than the other three. And this one seemed almost the creamiest once you actually put it on, but these are all so beautifully finely milled. They stay on your face all day, they just add glow. So. I'll move on because I could talk about these for a long time, but these are so beautiful. I'm so excited to try these. So this next thing's from IT Cosmetics. So it's their Confidence in Your Glow Skin Transforming Healthy Flush Blushing Bronzer. So these are three different shades. So the packaging is quite a to-do. It's, it's like cardboard packaging, like glossy cardboard. But they, I mean, wow. These are like, these are big, A, but it's just kind of cool. These all have these this kind of ombre effect to them. And so I'm sure if you wanted to target your brush in just a certain part of it, that's the idea. So you can get all three separately, but you can also mix all three, which is what that top swatch is. These are definitely glowy, but there's not really glitter in any of them, which I appreciate. They're just kind of more shimmery. If you're my skin tone, the best one for you will be Instant Nude Glow, which is the one I just showed the swatches on. If you have the deepest skin tone, you probably want the Instant Warm Glow and then maybe medium, instant natural glow. So these are really cool, I'll have to let you know. Usually IT Cosmetics face products stay on all day, so these will probably, but I'll, I'll let you guys know. So they also sent their Heavenly Skin One Sweep Wonder Brush, groundbreaking, it says pairs perfectly with any of your IT Cosmetics stuff. Brush hair is infused with anti-aging collagen. I mean, what? What is the brush? That's kind of silly. Um, I mean, how is that going to apply? That's just kind of dumb to me. Anyway, sorry, I'm a skeptic, apparently. Um, so, it improves the look of your skin immediately. Custom cut brush head optically blurs and perfects the look of skin. I could see how, like, applying this to your skin with this could look really pretty. Um, again, I'll have to let you know. I'm a little skeptical, but I'm interested to try it. Next thing is from Fresh. It says they're excited to share their latest rose launch. It's infused with real rose petals, alcohol free. Ooh, nice. The rose deep hydration facial toner refines pores, softens skins, increases hydration. Awesome. So I'm intrigued by that. Cute packaging again. They know we're suckers for packaging. All right, so we've got two products. This is their Fresh Rose Face Mask. It says it hydrates and tones. Is it one that you put on and wash off or? Yes, you do rinse it. So it says apply to cleansed, cleansed, <laughs> moist skin, avoid the eye area, leave on five to 10 minutes, rinse with water, can be used daily. I'm really loving my, um, it's from Carez, but it's a Carez like sleeping facial that you put on and sleep with and you just leave it on. I love that and I wish more companies had sleeping facials so you don't have to, 
I mean, I guess it's like putting on serums and things, but even still, like the idea of it is so smart. Anyway, so they always have really nice like glass type packaging. But the next thing is their deep hydration facial toner. I actually am in need of a toner currently. Wow, there are legit rose petals in here. I, I'm, I did not expect that, that is so cool. So this, I am so, so excited. It says, rose fruit extract is known for its toning properties. Rose water helps soothe, rose flower oil helps nourish. Um, angelica leaf ex extract is known to help retain moisture. Does anyone, when you hear Angelica, you think of Angelica from the Rugrats, that little brat that loved cookies? Anyway, ooh, it has hyaluronic acid, which I love, helps attract and maintain moisture to enhance suppleness. So it says you can use it twice a day, morning and night. Um, just gently sweep it over the face with like a cotton pad. You could also use your fingertips, it says. So I am very excited and very intrigued to try these. I'll let you guys know how I like them. Next is from Origins, Perfect World. I've had some of this stuff for a little while. All right. What's in your perfect world? It says your skin's world just got more perfect. Oh my gosh. So we got some Origins products and a camera. It's the Instax mini camera that I know I've, I've seen a lot of people use. Is this real? It even has a film. Oh my gosh, so that's amazing. I, I'm not sure how this relates to this, but I am so excited. My husband's gonna be excited to play with this too. That is so cool and so fun. Thanks, Origins. I can't wait to play with this. So, wow. Um, but also, so it comes with their Origins A Perfect World SPF 40. That is awesome. So we're getting into summer. We're gonna be traveling to Ireland and Barcelona soon in like a month. We're also moving, we bought a house. And anyway, uh, so I need a really good SPF. This is 1.7 ounces so I could fit this in my carry-on because we're planning on carrying on. That is awesome. It also says it's age defense and it has white tea. I'm excited, so that's probably what I will bring. They also have their Perfect World Age Defense Treatment Lotion with white tea. Lotion? It's like a toner. Helps surround skin in an age-defending protective bubble. It hydrates dry skin. It leaves skin soft and prepared for treatments to follow. It's alcohol-free, oil-free, AM and PM, so it is kind of like a, a toner. Then it also comes with their antioxidant cleanser with white tea. Ooh. I used a white tea like sheet mask the other day and my skin looked awesome after it, so I'm thinking my skin might really like white tea. And that would be awesome because all of this has that. This is their Age Defense Eye Cream with white tea. And it has sunscreen in it as well. SPF 20, that's pretty awesome. So I'll probably bring this as well. It's really small. And it says just apply it in the AM. So it's not necessarily meant to be a PM cream considering it has SPF. But I'm excited about the cleanser. It's a foaming face wash, which is my favorite. Um, dirt grabbing minerals combined with gentle skin compatible cleansing action of palm, coconut, and oat amino acid reach deep to help detoxify and free skin of harmful impurities before they settle down and ruin your skin. That's not what it says, but... That's the gist. So that is amazing. I'm so excited to try that line as well. And it's kind of perfect timing um, when it comes to like season wise because a lot of this has SPF in it. All right, let's keep chugging along. This one, I don't know who it's from. Oh, Butter London. So, oh my gosh, I saw these on Snapchat and I was like, what? I need those. So do you remember the pure eye glosses that had like the little sponge and it was like, Kind of a creamy uh, gel like cream eyeshadow but you had to go through the sponge to get it well i saw these on someone's snapchat and i was like oh, it looks like that but without the sponge so these are their eye glosses this one is in moonshine so it's a little pot and you open it yeah and it's just like this creamy moussey almost looks like pudding but look at the color it is so ridiculous it's so pretty so shimmery, glimmery, there's a little bit of glitter to it. Oh my gosh. This is one of those things, this is one of those things I could see myself wearing all the time. Just alone, straight up on my eyelid, that's it. Nothing else needed. What's else, what else is in here? First of all, look at this cute makeup bag. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. But they have that Easter egg grass kind of stuff and it makes me crazy. A lot of the brands do it because it's great packing material but it sucks to get up off the, carpet. Pinocchio loves playing with it. <laughs> All right, so I've also got the shade Icing. I am opening this like a freaking monster. I'm not even trying. I'm too excited. 
because this looks like one I'm gonna like even more, like a rose gold. Oh my gosh, it's like a bronzy, oh, it's so beautiful. So, holy cannoli. The other one they sent is in, where's the shade? Mermaid, like a greenish, bluish, oh my gosh. This is so ridiculous. These just jumped to the top of my list to try. I cannot wait to see what these look like on the eyes. That is amazing. So they also sent their glazing lustrous liners. So they sent like a navy blue, a purple, a brown, bronze, and then a black. Yes, yeah, so these do have glitter in them. I also, when I wipe those swatches off, there's still glitter all over my hand front, but these themselves they have glitter in them, but it's in a way where it doesn't look silly. It actually just looks really nice. So these are really, really pretty. I'll have to let you know on the stain powder. One powder, I'm losing my mind. Power, once I've actually worn them to see like, you know, do they actually stay on all day? But I'm really excited about those. Mostly this makeup bag, I'm really excited about. So I got this giant, oh my gosh, wooden box from L'Oreal. It was in another box that I've opened, but it's, um. A giant wooden one. Let me see if I can open it. I might be out of focus. Sorry. Let me slide. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm going to end up hurting myself. Hold on. Oh, that was dangerous. That was so dangerous. Okay. All right. So I have to turn to the side. <clears throat> it looks like a new hair care line. It's their Ever Fresh, Ever Pure, Ever Cream, Ever Curl. Ooh, Ever Curl. So it's all, it's cutely in here. I wish. I mean, I can kind of show it to you guys. This is going to make a mess, but it's a pretty cool box. So first one I'm pulling out is their Ever Pure Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. It says it has lightweight fullness, um, anti-fade, UV filters, natural botanicals. So excited to give that a try. Boy, I'm going to be set for a while, aren't I? It also had cute like flowers in it and stuff like on the outside of the packaging. It was just hard to show. Um, L'Oreal, L'Oreal is too much with their PR. Like they were the ones that sent their clay shampoo and conditioner, which I'm using right now, by the way, and it's really good. Um, but they sent it in like a clay ball with a mallet that you had to get out of there. You had to break the clay ball to get to the actual shampoo. It was too much. I loved it, but it was ridiculous. Anyway, so the next one is the Ever Curl sulfate free hydro charge shampoo and conditioner with coconut oil anti-frizz, definition, non-drying. I will absolutely use this because you guys know my hair is naturally curly wavy and I'm always looking for a good shampoo and conditioner for that. Next is their Ever Cream Deep Nourish Conditioner with apricot oil. They also sent their Ever Pure Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. So the other Ever Pure one in the purple was the uh, Volume. This one's for moisture and it has rosemary in it. And then they also sent their Ever Fresh Balancing Conditioner and their Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. They also sent their Micro Exfoliating Scrub with Apricot Seed and it gently removes flaky buildup. I've never thought of using a scrub with my hair, so I'm intrigued. And they also sent their Ever Cream Renourishing Butter. So it restores softness and moisture. I presume this is like a, um, yeah, it's a leave, you leave it on for three to five minutes as a deep conditioner and then you rinse it thoroughly. It says you can use it weekly or as needed. Next is from JCat Beauty. This video is gonna be so long. Cute package, little pink bag. So they have, oh, some of their baked highlighters. I tried one of them and I think I remember really liking it, but they have three new shades of their You Glow Girl baked highlighters. These are, these retail for $9 each. Oh yeah, I did really like the one I had. So they sent me Crystal Sand, which looks like it's kind of an ivory. Wow. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. So it's kind of like an ivory, but like a beigey ivory color. And they also sent Bella Rose, which is, first of all, it's a little rose, like a 3D rose. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is like a pinky toned highlight. These are ridiculous. So these were actually very smooth, I think. They've improved the formula even more. These are way smoother. They don't kick up powder. I feel like the last one kicked up some powder. I still really liked it, but I feel like the formula is even better on these two new shades. So, wow. This next thing is from Anise Cosmetics. The smarter way to remove nail polish. So it's this spray away. Nail, okay, Nail Aid is the brand. It's three different sprays, and it's a spray nail polish remover. It says it's leak and spill proof, two times faster removal, non-drying, no white residue. So they have this one with this, which is keratin and cocoa butter. They also have hyaluronic and collagen. 
And then this one has ceramide and coconut oil. So this one's for dry and brittle nails. My nails. This one's for splitting and peeling nails. And then this one's for thin, weak nails. So really, my nails could use all of that. So that's awesome. So I think, do you literally spray it on? Oh, you spray on a cotton ball or pad, press it over the nail and swipe from cuticle to tip. Wash hands thoroughly. It's cruelty free. Do not spray directly on the nails. I would have sprayed it directly on the nails, so I'm glad I read that. Um, so, I mean, I guess it's nice that it doesn't leak, but if it's like the same stuff, it's saying that it's maybe better for your nails, so I guess we'll see. But I'm, I'm definitely intrigued to try these. Next thing is from Kiesk, K-I-E-S-Q-U-E, and it's Liquid Palace Easy, oh! There are these Easy Peel Polish Barricades, so you, it's a, it's a liquid you put on, but it dries and you can peel it off so you can put it on around your nails so that it doesn't get anywhere on your skin around your nails. Or if you're wanting to do like some, um, like this is a French manicure one, so you could put it across the tip if you wanted to do a different colored tip, things like that. So that's pretty cool. I am so intrigued by these, so I'm definitely going to give these a try. This next one smells amazing. It's from Sky Organics. And it's their organic bath bombs gift set. It smells unbelievable. Oh my gosh, let me oops, cut this open. Oh my gosh. So there are six bath bombs. Oh, I'm like in need of new bath bombs too, so this is perfect. There's the love potion bath bomb. Oh my gosh, these smell so freaking good. The Caribbean coconut bath bomb. The Lavender Lemon Muffin Bath Bomb. The Mermaid Kiss, that's cute. The Strawberry Milkshake, and then the sixth one is the Sugar Rose Bath Bomb. Okay, the last thing, I think, I hope, <laughs> uh, I mean, not that I hope it's up, but I mean, I, I'm like nervous, I'm forgetting some things. It, this is another one from e.l.f. because the other one was from a while ago and this one was more recently sent. It's always funny, I always end up going to buy something and then they send it to me and I'm like, I already bought it. <laughs> um, so, spring! They, it's some of their new stuff. So, I've never tried any of their lashes. So, I will try these. These are their Winged and Bold Luxe Lash Kit. They sent a cute little... Ooh, a mint bandana. That's actually really cute. They sent their Beautifully Bare Liquid Highlighter, which I actually just bought and I really, really like. They... Oh my gosh, yes, I'm almost out. Their Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow and Soiree is one of my favorites. So, now I have a new one. They sent their teal cream eyeliner. They sent two of their tinted lip oils, which I love these. They're so comfortable. I don't think I, do I have Berry Kiss though? I know I have Coral Kiss. And then their contouring blush and bronzing powder in St. Lucia, or Lucia. I always say that wrong, St. Lucia. So that's pretty awesome. Just kidding, there's one more. This is from Tweezerman. They sent, their, it's a Tweezerman Brush IQ. It's their mini face contour brush set, but it also comes with their sponge. I've never heard anyone talk about this sponge, so I'm very intrigued to give this a try. The brushes feel pretty soft, a little bit dense for my liking. This feels really dense too, but you never know until you wet it, so I'll have to let you know about that. But they also sent this like whole brush belt kind of a thing. That's kind of fun. I've never owned one of those. So they've got a, looks like a lot of their brushes, some of their eye brushes. Ooh, this feels nice though. They're giant like powder brush. That'd be great. That'd be great for body bronzing. So I'll have to let you know. So that was everything from this PR haul. I've got a lot to clean up, a lot to try out and let you guys know how I like it. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you want to see some of my other PR hauls, I will link some of them below. And other than that, I hope you'll subscribe and stick around, check out some of my other videos and makeup reviews, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.